machine right there. Let me go meet these guys. All right, y'all, I'm about to get into this big, bad machine. Wish me luck. I can hardly wait. Hey, y'all, this is Clay. He is uh, my chauffeur for the day. Clay is so gracious to let me ride with him and just to see this beauty and the way that this works. I don't know if you can see those flurries in the air, but all those little cotton flurries are just everywhere. I always say I know when I'm home when I see cotton on the side of the road. Now, all of this, actually you can tell what's already been harvested and what hasn't, and we're going over the last row of this particular field. Clay, how long have you been doing this? Uh, my whole life. <laughs> I mean, I've picked, uh, well, I've been picking cotton, like, on my own and farming and everything since about 2004 but my granddad used to come by and get me when I was five and six years old and take me with him every single day and I just grew up farming like my whole entire life so. Well I bet pick, picking cotton is a lot different in 2023 than it was when you were five and six years old. Oh yeah the, the first picker I remember running was an inter, international two-row picker and it only had three wheels on it, so you had to be very particular with it because if you got on a hillside or something, it was very easy to turn over. You'd turn it over in a heartbeat. Oh, no. <laughs> so that's a lot different than what we're running today. Well, this is a pretty smooth operation here. I feel like I'm riding in a fine Cadillac. Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely come a long way over the last probably 15 years. I mean, it's changed tremendously from what it was. Well, I can remember my mom and my aunt and my grandmother telling stories about when my grandfather grew cotton and they would get out and have to pick it themselves. Of course he had a tractor and different right. things, but just all the equipment wasn't available back then like we have now. Yeah, they had a whole crew of people come in to pick they just did. a few acres of cotton. That's right. We called them pickers and the pickers would come through when it was harvest season and you were glad to see them. Yeah, and I picked, uh, I don't know, I picked 30, 32 acres since 10 o'clock this morning. Wow. And it would have took you probably a month to pick that back in those days, you know. Wow. So, <laughs> maybe more than that, depending on how many laborers you had, you know. That's amazing. Y'all, look at these fields. Aren't they beautiful? It just seems like there's miles and miles of cotton. How long will it take you to bale this entire field, both sides? Uh, we can generally pick 60 to 80 acres a day, just depending on how big the field is. So uh, it'll probably take us a couple of days here and we'll be done. So it goes by in a hurry. Well, Clay, I have enjoyed this so much. Thank you for letting me ride with you today and, and just see what this is all about. I've never been part of the actual harvesting of the cotton, so this has been a real treat. Yeah, this is usually the funnest time of the year. Yes. We've worked all year long, and then we get to see what we, we actually made in the end. So. Well, it's been wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. For more information on what we grow here in Alabama, go to sweetgrownalabama.org. Y'all, isn't this so cool? 